our Save the Victory Roll. How is everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. This is a little look that I created today, and it is using the woot woot Age of Opulence palette by Beauty Bay. I am so excited about this palette. It has this beautiful color story. Blues, purples, a few neutrals, a little bit of a turquoise moment right up there with this green color. It's got great names like um, Gold Digger, Champagne, Flapper, Dandy. Oh, it's another good one here. Velvet, um, Decadent. Weren't the 1920s decadent? Doesn't this make you want to have a glass of champagne, go to a speakeasy? Does for me. So, anywho, this is the look that we will be creating. If this is something you're interested in seeing, seeing me fumble around in makeup in general, see how things um, apply onto older eyeballs, you are in the right place and you should just keep on watching. All right, it's swatching time. So, we are going to be swatching the Beauty Bay Age of Opulence palette. So what I've done is I've primed my arm here with, ooh, there we go, it's the P. Louise, I want to call it Pro Base, Base Pro, okay? And it was in the color Rumor 2, which is, well, yeah, about my skin tone. There we go. So we're going to start with the first row, and then I'm going to try finger first and see how that goes, and if not, we can use a brush. Or should I try brush first? Okay, let's try brush first. So this is RSVP. So let's see. All right, so this is pretty much the same color. You can see it a little bit. You can see it a little bit there. But it is pretty much the same color as my skin and the base. Let's take my finger and then go on it a little bit more. Yeah, it's pretty much the same color as the base here. So no worries. And then the next color we're going to do is Prohibition. So this will be the second color in the palette on the top row. And we'll just do that right there. This one is definitely a lot darker and you can see it better. So that's just on with the brush. Let's also take our finger. There we go. Yeah, that definitely, definitely go on better with a finger. There we go. There we go. So then the next color that we've got here is called Gold Digger, and this is a shimmer. It's a very nice and soft and luxe feeling. And then that's the color there. Let's go back a little bit. And it's also, again, it's a lighter gold shade and don't see it as well on my skin, but it is very pretty. I was trying to find, there we go, I think that's better. Maybe this I'm gonna do with some lower lights. So that's a little bit better, okay. So that was Gold Digger. So then we're gonna go into the color Hope, and I have higher hopes for this one. <laughs> Remember, swatches don't really mean anything. Oh, look at that, now we're talking. Now that shows beautifully on my arm. Look at that. Excellent. So that was Hope. Now we're going to go into Noir, which I'm going to think is, yes, is a black. Go figure. And then, that, oh, that goes on really nice. Look at that. Oh, I think that's a very nice black. And then we're going to go, so that is the actually the first row. So that was... RSVP, Prohibition, Gold Digger, Hope, and then Noir. So that was the first row. And then now, yeah, let me just clean off the phalanges. And then what we'll do is we'll go into the second row, and then the first shade in there is called Speak Easy. That goes right by Noir. Oh, that's really pretty. It's very purpley. 
almost aubergine. That's really pretty. I like that. Then we're going to go into this one's called champagne and it'll be the color that you expect. It's like a champagne gold. Let me just give it a little bit more of a look. Yeah, again, for the 12,000th time, really swatches don't mean a lot. And then the next color we've got here is called rich. And that is a rich green. It's almost got a forest green kind of vibe to it. Let's take a little bit more. There we go. So that's really pretty. And then We've got another shimmer coming on up here. Again, just clean off my fingers. And then this is called a vintage. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, that's really nice. So I want to call this a brown shimmer. With brown shimmer with some gold reflect. That is really nice. They would show a little bit better, but there we have it. And then the last one for row two is Curfew, which looks to be like a very dark blue. Yep. And there we go. So that is the first two rows. I really like that this has a lot of mattes, some nice shimmers. The next two rows are going to be pretty pretty awesome. All right, so I'm just going to go wash my arm, re-put some base on, and then we'll do the next two rows. Okay, back for round two. We have re-primed with our base pro from P. Louise. Here, I'm going to throw it in that hand. There we go. Now, we are on the third row. Now we are going to start with the shade Jazz, which is a beautiful shimmery shade. Oh, wow. So there we go. Look at that. That is really super nice. They're such um, smooth textured shimmers. Kind of almost the word putty like there we go so now we're going to go into the shade flapper there we go looks there we've got flapper the next we're going to have another shimmer it's called age like jazz age and look at that oh gorgeous then we have got a neutral shade here, and this one is called Silk Stockings. You can see that one a little bit better. It's a little bit um, darker. It's like a few shades darker than that first shade, that RSVP shade that was so light. So there we go. And then the last one in this row is Revival. And this one, holy Hannah Montana, this is gorgeous. Look at that blue. Hey baby. My cat is trying to convince me it's dinner time. There we go. And that is Revival. All right. So let's give our fingers here a quick wash. Our final row. We're going to start with the shade called Dandy. And this is another in the purple spectrum. This is super nice. Let's get one more, one more bit there. So there we go. That is dandy. Now we've got another shimmer coming up. This one is called Crush. It looks kind of rose goldy. Let's throw that there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There we go. I guess I should have showed the other, well, this is the more vibrant of the two rows, so maybe I'll shut the lights off after, and then we can take a look at these. So the next we've got is a Velvet, and then the 
this is a dark, dark, dark purple. So there we go. That is a velvet. The next shade we have here is Decadent. This one is so beautiful. And this one is very, very putty-like. So there we go. I mean, look at that. So beautiful. So that is Decadent. And then finally, we have one more matte in this palette, and this is Lavish. And that can go right there. And then that is a Lavish. How pretty are these? This is the last two rows. These two rows and then the two greens in the top row. Top couple rows, hello. All right, so let's try shutting off the lights and then see if we can see, there you can go. You can see a little bit more of the shimmer action for the shimmers. It's back on. And there we go. So that is the final two rows. And then just one more quick look at the colors here. Yep. So here's the final look at these colors again from the Age of Opulence palette by Beauty Bay. And there we go. Alright, on to the look. Hey, here we are. We're going to be doing our look with the Age of Opulence palette by Beauty Bay. I, the only other Beauty Bay palettes I have, I have one that is the Bright Mattes, and then I also have that little pastel palette, which I like to use usually for blending out. So this is going to be one of my first specialty palettes, I guess you want to call it from Beauty Bay. And then this is the color story here. It's the Age of Opulence. And then this is the look that we're going to be doing here. And we're going to be using the colors Flapper and then Dandy. Then we're going to be using Velvet. And then for the shimmer, we're using Decadent. And then for the inner corner, um, we're going to be using Revival right there. And then for a little bit on the outer corner. So I'm not, this may just be a one look video. I also managed to score the Wilderness palette, which was limited edition, but they did do a second um, release because I wasn't fast enough to snag the first release. And uh, yeah, so I can do it with part of my better late than never. Um, this one isn't too late because um, it's relatively new within a month. So I just got it last night. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this little flat brush here and then I'm going to go into that first color flapper and then we're going to go into our crease. And then we're just going to bring it all the way around and then we're going to swoop it out. I think that looks relatively close to the other eye and then sweep it out. Then we're just going to fill it in a little bit more. And then most of the brushes I'm using here are just from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collection. I'm still playing with them. I like them. I just don't know how long they're going to last because I've already washed them a couple times and but we'll see. But uh, I do like these are the couple of the really small ones that I bought in multiples. So and then I'm blending out with my favorite little and only Wayne Goss brush that I got in my Beautylish box. I can't afford them. And even though he says they get the goat hair cruelty free, I don't I don't know how. Yeah, it was in the box, so I'm going to use it and it is beautiful. So hopefully it is just from sheared happily goats living their happy lives. So there we go. So that's the first one. And then I'm just going to use that same brush again because we're just doing basically purples. And then I'm going to go into the shade Dandy, which is the um, second, I guess, darkest purpley shade. 
and then we're going to do a line right under it. And then the same thing, we're going to swoop it out right underneath and bring it up. And then we can always intensify too as we go along. And then we're going to blend that out a bit. And then speaking of intensify, we're going to go back into that first shade flapper. And then we're going to go along the top again. And then we're looking like so. And then we're going to go into the darkest shade, which is velvet. And then we're going to just right under that. I think, oh, I think I might have brought that a little bit too low. No, we'll have to fix that. That's all right. So it happens when you do the two eyes separate. You're not a, I don't always 100% remember exactly <laughs> what it did. But we can fix that up with the sponge after. Like so, and then we're gonna give that a blend. Let's take a look at the close-up mirror. Yeah, that's pretty nice and blended. I just want to be sure I've got it. Okay, there we go. So then for the bottom, I'm going to use the same, the darkest shade and then the lightest shade of the pinks. And then That's what we've got so far. It looks way blended, more blended in person. All right, so is that pretty even? Okay, so the top needs a little bit more of that lightest shade. So let's bring that back into here. In this eye, I think the purple blended into it a little bit too high. Yeah, it's more rounded on the other a little bit. Well, if I close my eyes, it's not so bad, but when I go like that, the one hot side is a little bit higher. Well, let's just leave that for now, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this P. Louise dupe. It's like on a lavender color. Just a smidge of that and then using this small AQA brush we're going to go and put that in there we go so we're just going to let that tack down for a bit and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to using I found I so I tried with the black brush to use the color decadent right there and then the color didn't seem to go on as nice as for shimmers liking the finger that I tried with the finger but then I've got these nails so it doesn't make it as easy so I went and I got my little trusty little got them at the drugstore little rubbery tipped ones and that seemed to do the trick so that's what we're going to do so we're going to go into decadent and this is their their shimmers are very very soft like a putty kind of texture it's very interesting and then I'm still going to give it a bit of a spritz because I did have a teeny bit of fallout because this packs it on quite a bit and then let's pack it on I mean the finger here I'll show you I guess because it's the warmth of the skin so you can see, oh look how beautiful that is 
And then it just seems to always go on way, way nicer with the finger shimmers do. Oh, I'm gonna spread and see. And that's what happens when you get in, when you have your nail, then it goes like that. So now I've got this glimmer everywhere. So we'll have to fix that, but that's okay. Normally I would be doing um, my base last. I thought I could get away with doing it first, but maybe not. But there you can go and see how beautiful that shimmer is. But when I go to put on the lipstick and come back, I, I will quickly give this a bit of a clean up. So for now, we will live with the schmutz. All right. So there's that, and then I'm going to take that dark purple again, and I'm just going to go along the edge on the top there. Like so. And then again, I'm going to try taking one of these little pointy brushes again and try to lighten up this side a little bit to match there, and then give a blend. It is staying, staying a darker purple. I can't seem to get it to pink out again. So maybe I will just have to fix the other side to match this side. Ha ha ha. Okay, that's going to have to be the plan. This will not lighten out come hell or high water. So let's just add a little bit more purple over here then. There we go. So they look a little bit closer. Okay, so the cleanup part won't affect what I'm going to do next. So taking a little bit of this eyeliner, black eyeliner, I'm going to make a small wing. There we go. And then I made a small wing. And then using that same little brush i went into the light blue here and this one again was called revival it's a beautiful shimmer here and then i just went along the edge of the liner up top Okay, so I'm going to go, I'm just going to go and clean up along the bottom, put on some mascara and lipstick, and then we can talk about this palette. Just pretty quick today. I know it looks a bit of a mess, but it'll look better. Trust the process. Okay, one second. And here we go with the final look. So we just cleaned her up a little bit, put on some mascara, a little bit of lippy. Let's um, make the light a little less yellow. Made it lighter though. <laughs> so there we go. This is our look. Playing with the Age of Obulence palette by Beauty Bay. I like this thicker packaging. Um, they were trying to do 1920s Age of Opulence disco balls. <laughs> the um, dollar sign is not quite 1920s, but there we go. It is definitely an op opulent, shiny color story. I really like it. Uh, we'll see if there's a second look, but um, if not, let's just say this is it for now. Um, yeah, if you like this look, um, give us a like, comment, and subscribe, or maybe even click that notification bell. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends, and we can still talk about the Age of Opulence palette. Of course, there will have been swatches at the beginning, and yeah, I'm really digging this palette. Alrighty, that's it for now. See you later. Bye.